Uh, Chelsea FC boxer shorts. Um, these put Chelsea where they belong, on the bottom. I'm surprised they've even spelled it correctly because they just look so cheap and tacky. Like they're off like a one pound bin in a market. Except they cost 15 pounds for a pair. These are good if you want to literally dick on Chelsea. You pull down your trousers and you're wearing these. How small would you feel? I sort of thought these would be slightly more sort of like worn down than they are, given Chelsea's form this season. They look cheap, but they're very expensive, which again is another analogy for how the Chelsea team are behaving at the moment. John Terry doesn't wear these boxer shorts, he wears Wayne Bridges. Yeah, I wouldn't want these, no one would want these. Even a surely even a Chelsea fan doesn't want Chelsea boxer shorts. You're literally dribbling your own piss onto the team you love. What's the point in that? <laughs> the Arsenal slippers. Ah. Arsenal slippers. Don't even feel too comfortable touching these. Um, these are sort of appropriate footwear for if you are in hospital, um, which works with sort of 80% of their first team. The Crystal Palace aftershave. Uh, let's have a sniff, we'll do it on the wrist. I'm a, I'm a classy guy. And then you rub them together, don't you? Okay, interesting. Ah! <coughs> smells like cuttlefish. Um, smells quite nice on the first go, let's go again. Oh, now it's terrible. Very inconsistent, this. This is the Aston Villa seasonal jumper. Um, yeah, that does not smell of success. It reminds me of Gabriel Bonlahor's career because it looks quite flashy, but it's of absolutely no use whatsoever. Um, this is actually, reportedly as well, uh, Tim Sherwood's entire severance package. It's just this shitty little jumper. Um, what does that smell of? It smells of the championship. The gift of all gifts, who wouldn't want a Manchester City chef's hat? I mean, it feels cheap. It looks like something that a 1930s racing car driver might wear. This is for the official Manchester City chef, who is Fabian Dell, uh, and this is for when he's preparing Yaya Torre's birthday cake every year, which is now a big thing for them, so that he doesn't get too angry. This is the Manchester United two-pack of dummies, or as you might want to call them, Wayne Rooney and Louis van Gaal. Now, these are often used as a sleeping aid. Not actually necessary this year, is it, with the style of football that United are playing? This is a uh, Newcastle duck. Very hard to sink. Even though it's not very good, it's still very hard to keep down. When you, right, when you have a bath, okay, you want to relax, you want to forget your troubles. Now, if I'm a Newcastle fan and I see this floating towards me when I'm trying to forget my troubles, I'm having an absolute shocker. Same if I'm a Spurs fan. What they say with depression, uh, quite serious, is that you have a black dog following you. That's how it feels. Well, the black duck is following me, breaking our unbeaten run, the black duck of Newcastle that doesn't even exist, a bit like their title hopes. God damn it, Newcastle, why did you do this to me? A fading force in football, aren't you? The Liverpool FC sterling silver earrings. As if the Scouse accent wasn't harmful enough to the ears, you can now aesthetically damage your own ears. Thing is, you will never walk alone unless you start wearing these, these awful, awful earrings. 400 pounds. I would give a lady 200 pounds not to wear them. Wait a time, only silverware they're gonna get for a long time. Absolutely pointless. It's the Leon Osman autobiography. Never did I expect anybody to ever say those words. The Leon Osman, who? Good question. Here we have uh, the Bible, 1899. I mean, for that, you could just buy Leon Osman and have him say it to you. In April, the long wait for a win at Old Trafford ended. I spoke to Moisey, Woodsy and Lummy. They're his imaginary friends. Uh, I'll just skip to the end, save you having to buy it. It's a spoiler alert, just tell you what happens. Um, Oh, they, they qualify for the Champions League. Jeez. Oh, sorry, this is set quite far in the future. Uh, and it's in a dystopian future. Okay, worthless.